guys, my name is Infi. Welcome to Infibix. In this video, I'm going to talk about two types of counting in combinatorics, namely arrangements and permutations. We will also see example of each of them. Video for the other types of counting is coming soon. But before we continue, please subscribe, click the bell, like, share, and put your comments below. Alright now, let's start now. There are four types of counting. The first one is called arrangement. Some people also call it assignment. Suppose that we have five balls put in a basket. Name them A, B, C, T, and E. We're going to take three of them one by one with returns as follows. We draw the first ball from the basket. Note it and then put it back in the basket. Take the second ball, note it, and return it to the basket. In the same way, we draw the third ball, note it, and put it back in the basket. Let's take a look at the following example. We're going to take the first ball. There are five balls in the basket, hence there are five possible balls to be taken. The possibility is five. We withdraw the first ball, suppose that is the ball A, we take a note and return the ball to the basket. In the same way, we take the second ball, note it and put it back. Because the first ball is put back, so there are five balls in the basket. So, there are five possible balls to be taken. Suppose that the second ball is the ball B. Note that this order is different than if we had taken the first ball is B and the second ball is A. So, in this case, order is important. For the third ball, because there are again five balls in the basket, so the possibility is 5 again. Suppose that the third ball is A. Now, this is possible because the ball A is in a basket. So the sequence of withdrawal is A, B, A. So we see that the same ball can be taken more than once. So in, in this case, repetition is allowed. So in this type of counting, order is important and repetition is okay. Now, a look at the possibility. The first withdrawal, there are five possibilities. The second withdrawal, there are five possibilities and the third is also five. So the total possibilities are five times five times five, which equals to five to the power three. Now, the 5 corresponds to the number of balls and the 3 corresponds to the number of withdrawals. So, in general, if we have n balls in a basket and k withdrawals, then there are n to the power k possible sequences of withdrawals. The second type of counting is called permutation. Suppose that we have 5 balls again. In the basket, ball A, B, C, D, and E. We're going to take three of them the same way as in the arrangement, one by one, but the difference is now without returns. We throw the first ball from the basket. Now, unlike in the arrangement, we just leave the ball there and do not put back in the basket. Similarly for the second ball. Withdraw it, leave it there, and don't put back in the basket. For the third ball, we treat the same way. Let's take a look at the following example. We're going to take the first ball. There are five balls in the basket. Hence, there are five possible balls to be taken. The possibility is five. We withdraw the first ball. Suppose that is the ball A, 
We keep it there and don't put back in the basket. Now there are only four balls left in the basket. So there are only four possible balls to be taken. So the possibility is four. We take the second ball. Suppose there is the ball B. We keep it there and don't put back in the basket. So we got the first ball A and the second ball B. This is different than if we had taken the first ball B and then the second ball A. So like in the arrangement, the order here is also important. Now we take the third ball. Since there are only three balls in the basket, so there are only three possible balls to be taken. Because ball A and ball B are not in the basket anymore, so the third ball cannot be A or B. Therefore, in this case, repetition is not allowed. Let's say the third ball is E. Now look at the possibilities. The first withdrawal is 5, the second withdrawal is 4, and the third is 3. By ruled out counting, we multiply them. 5 times 4 times 3. This is actually the same as 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 divided by 2 times 1. Which is the same as 5 factorial divided by 2 factorial. That is 5 factorial divided by 5 minus 3 factorial. 5 corresponds to these 5 balls and 3 corresponds to these 3 withdrawals. In general, if we have n balls, and we withdraw k balls one by one without returns, then there are n factorial divided n minus k factorial. The notation for this is p and k. Example 1. How many four-digit numbers are there containing no zero? Here are the digits except zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Here are the four places of digits. This is an example of the four-digit number, which is different than this number. So here, order is important. Of course, it is also possible to have a number like this. 1, 1, 2, 2. So, repetition is allowed. Therefore, it is an arrangement problem. There are 9 possible digits for the first place, 9 possible digits for the second place, 9 for the first place and 9 for the fourth place. We multiply them and obtain 9 to the power 4. This is the total of 4 digit numbers containing no zero. Example 2. Suppose that there are 8 cars racing in a final. How many possible champion, runner up and third place can there be? Here, we assume that there is no two cars will end up with the same time. We're interested in the cars which end up in the first, second, and third position. Of course, these three positions are not interchangeable. So here, order is important. And also, it is impossible for a car to end up in the two different positions. Therefore, repetition is not allowed. So, this is a permutation case. Hence, there are 8 times 7 times 6 possibilities, which equals to 8 factorial over 5 factorial. That is, P, 8, 3. 
that's all for now guys hopefully you enjoyed and understand the video thank you for watching more videos are coming bye now stay healthy